We're finally going to allow the clients to send and display chat messages. And this is going to be done through a three-step process. First, the client will emit this chat message to the server. Then the server will pick up that chat message and then emit it back. It will receive it and emit uh, it to all the clients. And then all the clients will then pick up that chat message and display it. So that's what we need to do. So the f in terms of the first step, we need the client to emit the chat message to the server. And if we look in um, chat.pug, and if you have a look at this um, box text box right here, um, we can see that we have this form right here, and it's got no action by default, and that's fine. And then we have this button send. And if we go into client.js, we can see that in the form um, for the submit, they've attached this function right here. And then we have this variable message to send. And what it basically does is inside this text box, um, the text box has an ID of M. It just grabs the value that's inside that um, text box and then saves it to this variable message to send. And what we need to do is emit to this message to send to the server with an event name of chart space message. So what we want to do here is say, um, I'll do it under this comment telling us to do that. So I'll say com socket dot emit. And we want to emit with the event name of chart space message. And we want to send along this message to send to the, to the server like this. Um, hang on. That, sh that T needs to be a capital. There we go. So we've sent that to the server. So now we're on to step two. And in step two, what we need to do is receive this message and then emit this to all servers. So down here, um, I'm going to do this after the connection thing right here. So I'll say, um, and this time, since we're working with a socket, we need to say socket.on. And we want to see if a, so if a socket sends a chat message. What we have is we have the message to send to work with right here. And I'm just going to call it message in this function for now. Um, I would keep the names the same as the ones I've done because, again, it's probably marked based on how you've wrote, written the code rather than the functionality. So we have this message right here. And what they want us to do is emit this out to all the servers or all the clients. And the way you do that is if we do socket.emit, it will send it back to the client that it got this chat message from. But if we do io.emit like this, it will send it out to all clients. And I'm just gonna put chat space message like this. And what it wants us to send along is it wants us to send an object containing um, the, the, hang on, with the chat should emit the message chart event with, a, with an object containing the name and the message. So we want to send the name along. And remember, the name can be obtained from a socket.request.user.name. And then we want to say message. And we can just uh, pass the message that we grabbed from the client. And this will send out um, an event called chat message to all clients with the name and the message. And the final thing that we want to do, which is step three, is we want to grab, we want to receive this chat message event in the client and then display the message by adding a list item to this list of messages right here. So back in client.js, um, let's say, let's do it here. So I'll say socket dot um, on, and we want to check for a chat message like this. And what we, what we have here is we have this object containing our information and I'm just going to call this data. And um, we're just going to do some jQuery here and I'm just going to copy and paste it and then I'll explain what it is. So um, I'm just going to paste that into here. So what this essentially does is it's, it's a jQuery selector for um, the messages um, element, which is an unordered list. Um, which you can see right here. And what it does is it basically creates a new list item inside it. And it sets the HTML to um, the name from the object in bold, and then a space, and then their message right here. So if I save that now, and I reload this, and I'm just going to also um, sign into it using an incognito user just so that I can have, sadly, a conversation with myself to see how this works. So. I'll paste that into here as well, and then I'll sign in.
Okay, so and if I sign into the original one as well. Okay, we can see that we have two users on line now. So from this one, if I say hello like this, it appears like this. And then if we go over here, we can see that th this client also has a message. And then I can say something like hi back. And you can see that both clients will um, pick up the message at the same time, which is amazing. So we've essentially built a functioning online chat right here. And that should be everything you need to do for this challenge. So we can just copy the uh, link and then submit it here. And let's hope that this works. Yeah, and we can see that all the tests have passed. I'll quickly explain again what's happened here. So when we submit the form, it grabs the value in the text input as a, a message to send, and it emits this to the server with the event name chat message. And then in the server, the server will pick up this um, event with the name of chat message. And then with that message, it'll emit to the server, and sorry, it'll emit to all the clients um, a message the an object containing the name of the user and the message with the name the event name of the chat message as well and then each of the clients when it receives a chat message it basically adds a new list item to the messages list with the, showing the name and the message which is exactly what's happened right here and then you can go ahead and submit that and that was the last um, challenge in the uh, advanced node and express course and i think this course really deserves its name because it is actually really really difficult but I think we learned a lot of important stuff and it was kind of fun doing all these three projects. And then you can go ahead and move on to the, the big projects right here.